let's work on multiplication by a single digit with larger numbers. Here you'll notice we have four digits within this first factor, 3825, and as I said before, we're multiplying by a single digit, in this case 6. So we start in the ones place, 6 times 5, which is 30, 0, regroup the 3, moving to that tens place, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 5, regroup the 1, 6 times 8 being 48, plus 1 being 49, 9, regroup the 4, and finally into the thousands place, 6 times 3 being 18, plus 4 being 22. You'll notice our answer or our product here is a five digit answer. One, two, three, four, and five. And this does make sense as we are multiplying a four digit by a one digit, in which case we would usually end up getting a five digit answer. Sometimes you end up getting a four digit answer as well. Keep that in mind as you continue working on these types of problems. Here is a five digit by a one digit, in which case we're gonna end up with a six digit answer. Our steps for multiplying this are the same, where we go from the ones place to the tens place, and then to the hundreds place. We work with the thousands place and the ten thousands place. Let's actually do that. Seven times five is 35. Five, regroup the three. Seven times six being 42, plus three being 45. Five, regroup a four. 7 times 3 being 21, plus 4 is 25, 5, regroup the 2, 7 times 1 being 7, plus 2 being 9, and finally 7 times 2 being 14, and I place that comma, and as I said before, I have that 6 digit answer. Here I have 3257 times 3. And again, start in the ones place, 3 times 7 being 21, 1, regroup the 2, 3 times 5 being 15, plus 2 being 17, or we will place a what? 7, and regroup the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and finally 3 times 3 is 9. You'll notice in this case, that 3 digit by a 1 digit only gave me a, f that 4 digit that is, by a one digit did give me a four digit answer, 9,771, which is actually fairly reasonable. This nearest thousands place would have been 3,000 times three being 9,000. Here are a few for you to try. Please go ahead and copy these problems down and solve them. Go ahead and hit pause. You'll come up with five digit answers for each of these. Hit pause as you're solving them. Did you end up with 19,548 for that first problem? For our second problem, 5 times 9 is 45, 5 regroup the 4. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29, 9 regroup a 2, 5 times 1 being 5, plus 2 being 7, and 5 times 4 being 20. 20,795 is our product there. Let's review the thing to remember when you're multiplying that five digit by a one digit, you will either end up getting a five digit answer or a six digit answer. The other thing to remember is to go from place to place to place, remembering not only to regroup, but also to work and with those regroups correctly. Eight times seven being 56, we place the six and regroup that five. Eight times three being 24, and what do we do with that 5? Right, we add it to get 29. We place the 9 and regroup the 2. What digit do we place next into our answer? Right, a 0. And we regroup a 5. Now we can go 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 5, which is 13, 3. Regroup the 1, and 8 times 2 being 16, plus 1 being 17. The other thing you'll re remember is that we must place our zero. You'll also notice that my digits are nicely lined up according to those 
places that are within my original problem. So my answer to my multiplication problem is called a product. You'll notice that I did get a six-digit answer here, which is reasonable as 20,000 times 8 would be 160,000, which is approximately or close enough to 173,096 that gives me the idea that I did this problem correctly.